And many folks use melatonin to help get to sleep, but there's some new research that shows it may make a difference for COVID long haulers. So we're going in depth this morning to find out more about that. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live this morning. And Cole, why do doctors think melatonin could help? Hey, good morning, Amy. Well, doctors say it has the it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory characteristics. They know that and with COVID having a strong connection with in inflammation, they looked at melatonin as a possible therapy. And let's go in depth and look at a couple of these studies which have happened all over the world. In October, there was a trial with 150 hospitalized COVID patients in Iraq. Those taking 10 milligrams of melatonin before bed had a lower risk of COVID related clots, sepsis and death. Compared to the 13 deaths in a control group, only one hospitalized patient taking the melatonin died. Over in France this week, data showed mice that were on high doses of melatonin actually blocked coronavirus from entering their brains. It also reduced swelling, but it's important to mention it hasn't been peer reviewed. But let's be clear, based on the size of the mice, they were taking the equivalent of someone taking 3,500 milligrams of melatonin. Typically, most of us take three milligrams. Around 55% of patients after recovering from COVID have at least one long COVID symptom for at least six months afterwards. Unfortunately, we don't have any treatments for long COVID syndrome itself. What we do have are symptomatic therapies. We'll have a more in-depth look up on newschannel5.com later on this morning. Back to you in the studio.